Okay, so big day for the New York Giants yesterday. They went out and they signed Kenny Galladay, four-year, $72 million deal. And there's more kind of big news today. Um, according to Jordan Schultz of ESPN, Adore Jackson, free agent cornerback Adore Jackson, is a high priority for the New York Giants. So after making a big move yesterday, the Giants seem not to be done. And according to Schultz, both Jabril Peppers and Darnay Holmes are recruiting Adoree Jackson to the Giants. That would give them a pretty interesting secondary if Jackson becomes their their cornerback too, next to one of the best corners in the league, James Bradbury, with Peppers, with Holmes, with Logan Ryan, with Xavier McKinney. All of a sudden, you have one of the best secondaries in the NFL right there. Last season, Jackson didn't play too much, had a knee injury, went on injured reserve on IR. Um, but the year before that, allowed a pass rating of 94, 89 the year before that. Pretty decent for a corner. It's tough, tough position. Uh, so those numbers are not bad. 25-year-old, former first-round pick. He's talented. And uh, as I mentioned last night in the live stream, this is kind of the perfect situation for him to prove himself again and go back out on the market still a very young player. Uh, next offseason, if he signs a one-year deal with the Giants, prove himself. He's got good players around him. In the secondary, he's not going to be asked to be the guy, the number one lockdown corner. So there's a little less pressure, and I think it would uh, it would really put him in a nice position to prove himself and potentially get a long-term deal next offseason. So I think uh, it's a win-win for both teams here if Adoree Jackson does become a giant, and it seems like they have enough cap space to do it, or else he probably wouldn't be a high priority. You look at the way that they've structured their contracts, I don't know if it's Kevin Abrams, I don't know if it's Dave Gettleman, but wow, I am impressed the way that they have moved money around and the cap hits that they have uh, that they've that they have for this upcoming season with some of the moves that they've made, the Leonard Williams extension, uh, the, the contract agreement with Leonard Williams, $11 million cap it for this season. Kenny Galladay's cap it's at $4.5 million uh, for this season. Nate Solder, they saved $6 million in cap space. And none of the free agent moves that they've made, none of the cap it's are over $4.75 million for this year. The cap is expected to go up in years moving forward after the NFL made a new uh, new media deal, new new TV deal, whatever you want to call it. So the cap will go up in the coming years. So the Giants decided to take advantage of this this offseason and, and try and keep cap hits as low as possible, knowing that the cap will uh, the cap limit will expand in years to come. But like I said, whoever's working the contract, I don't know if it's Abrams, I don't know if it's Gettleman, but genius. And it's giving them enough uh, enough room here to, to make significant moves, moves that are certainly going to make them legitimate contenders for this upcoming season, adding a player like Galladay, a wide receiver one, and a Dory Jackson. If that's your cornerback too, you're in a good spot. After what Bradbury showed last season and the defense in general, they were 14th uh, in terms of pass defense EPA. And they really didn't have a corner to. DeAndre Baker, obviously we know what happened with him. They had a trade for Isaac Aiden right before the start of the season. They had Ryan Lewis. They they kind of had to piece it together at, at their second cornerback spot. A rookie in Darnay Holmes, who had a pretty nice season for a rookie. So now you bring all these players back, some young players too, like, like Holmes, like McKinney. Logan Ryan had a great season last year, as did Jabril Peppers, James Bradbury. This would obviously be a huge ad, and according to Jordan Raynon of ESPN, he's pretty confident at this point that Dory Jackson will be a giant. Now, I'm not saying that it, anything has been agreed to or whatnot. Um, I just want to put it out there that that's that's what he believes. They are favorites to land Dory Jackson. So that's that. Just wanted to give a quick update. So we'll see.